Hello everyone, I'm Rusty Dunn. Welcome to Caterpillar's second quarter 2022 financial results presented by our Chief Financial Officer, Andrew Bonfield. Andrew, nice to see you. Every quarter goes more quickly than the last, it seems it like. It always does, Rusty. <laughs> it always seems that way. All right, well, let's get into the second quarter results and take a look first at the top line numbers as we always do, uh, sales and revenue. Sales and revenues were up 1.4 billion or 11% to $14.2 billion in the quarter. That was led by price being the major factor. We also saw volume, particularly of services, uh, growing in the quarter, offset a little bit by negative currency uh, because of the strengthening of the dollar uh, against other currencies. We saw good growth across all our primary segments. In construction, that was mostly price, uh, offset by a little bit of currency. In resource industries, we saw good price, but also growth in services. And in energy and transportation, uh, growth across all applications and also between segments. So from the top line to the bottom line, how did we land with profit per share? Profit per share was $3.13. That's included five cents of restructuring charges. So adjusted profit per share was $3.18, which was up 22% versus prior year. Favorable price, helping to offset higher manufacturing costs and SG&A and R&D expenses. I know you always like to give a read on the balance sheet and, and cash deployment and such. How, how are we looking there? Again, continue to see strong cash generation. Free cash flow in the quarter was $1.1 billion. We returned $1.7 billion of cash back to shareholders through a mixture of dividends, share repurchases. This was the first time we paid the higher dividend. Dividend was up 8% at $1.20 for the quarter. Overall enterprise cash balance was $6 billion at the end of the quarter. So really a good story in the second quarter. Any other key takeaways that people might want to have? Well, no, I mean, just again, you know, very difficult circumstances out there, very challenging with supply chains. People are working really, really hard to deliver machines to customers and make sure our, our customers are successful in everything they're doing. Always good to get your insight into the second quarter numbers. Uh, let's go beyond the numbers for a minute, though. I know you recently talked with Mark Cameron, the senior vice president uh, of resource industry sales, services, and technology, and he had some interesting comments, what he's seeing in sustainability, uh, growth, and technology advancements for customers. Let's listen to that conversation. Hello, everybody. Today I'm joined by Mark Cameron, who is our Senior Vice President, Resource Industries, Sales, Services and Technology. Mark, unusually, you actually came from the outside. You joined uh, Caterpillar recently from one of our large mining customers, didn't you? Yes, just over a year and a half ago in November of 2020, I joined from uh, Rio Tinto. Mark, as you know, we recently held our investor day on May 17th in Dallas. And our theme of that meeting was services, technology and sustainability. And resource industries is right at the forefront of all of those. Perhaps you can maybe start with sustainability, because I think a lot of our large mining customers are very focused on that. It all starts with proactively understanding the customer's pain points. Um, to do that, we have to build very strong relationships, um, deep relationships stemmed in trust. And then, then we can work with them and, and help them on their, their biggest challenges. And uh, many of the times that's across the safety increasing production or uptime of their fleets, of course, lowering costs, and even with the availability of parts. So I like to refer to those all as the, you know, the, the critical few basics that we really must be um, brilliant at at Caterpillar and supporting our customers. Um, now, on top of those traditional challenges, and, and back to your, your question on sustainability, the, the energy transition is, is here. And... Um, our mining customers are also asking us to help to help them reach their uh, carbon reduction timelines and sustainability goals. And to do this, I'd say we're collaborating and closer than we ever have before with our mining customers. And over the past 12 to 13 months now, we've signed agreements with miners just, just getting started and developing new mines, such as Nouveau Mon Graphite, to the, the big, large global miners, BHP, Rio Tinto, Newmont, Tech, Valley, and others in the sustainability space. And we're, we're developing the sustainable solutions. You know, that's going to include new machines, um, technology, and services. But we're doing this alongside our customers, um, and they get the opportunity to, to test and validate. So this is really a very new and innovative way of doing product development in resource industries. Yeah, I completely agree. One of the things that's always exciting me about it tonight is seeing things like autonomy and the autonomous mining trucks. Perhaps you can talk about autonomy, where we are going on that. Caterpillar autonomy is leading the industry. 
and we have the largest autonomous haul truck fleet worldwide um, with over 540 machines today, and we're launching more every month. Now, our advantage over the competition, um, Andrew, is that we can run trucks at maximum speed and extreme conditions. Um, we're constantly improving our cycle times. Um, and how do we do this? We, we really focus at the entire site versus the traditional approach would be um, focusing on a single machine. We got deep integration, deep machine integration, with our sensors and software. We're constantly making software upgrades. All of these collectively really differentiates the uh, the autonomy solution. It is really exciting to see how this integration of services, being there, working with the customer, technology, autonomy, electrifications, for example, sustainability, which is also it's going to create a very different mindset of the future. And it's really good news to listen to those comments from Mark on where things are, are headed. So, you know, second half of the year to go now, we'll, we'll see how it rolls. Yes, second half, we've still got a lot of work to do. Everyone's still got to focus. We've got a lot to execute in the second half, big plans. Uh, but overall, you know, we are in a good place, uh, even though there are challenges out there, as there always are. Uh, really confident the team will actually go out and meet those challenges. As always, appreciate you being with us, Andrew. Look forward to seeing you next quarter. Thank you, Rusty. Thank you again. And thanks to all of you watching. As always, be safe in everything you do. Have a great day.